What is good everybody? I'm Kirby One and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we were here we were investigating the Cobalt Coastlands. We uh, let's zoom out here. We talked. Let's zoom in now. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. We talked with uh, what was her name? Paulina. I think Paula. Paulina. Paulina. I don't remember. She's up here on the cliffside with two Growliths. Um, one was the heir to be the noble uh, Pokemon, but um, she deems him or she you know speaks with the Pokemon and he's not ready yet for such such a task and she's not going to force it upon him. And if he doesn't want to take it up at all, she's still not going to force it upon him. So there's kind of a predicament there. Um, then we said, hey, we want to go investigate Fire Spit Island over here because there's like strange shadows and strange commotions going on, we were told. So then she said, okay, well, you're going to have to go talk to uh, Iskin, I think, I believe his name was. And he uh, talked with him to get in contact with the uh, Basque Legion, which will allow us to surf along the waters or swim along the waters anyways. And he lives up here on Apom Hill where the marker is. Um, and so we went and talked to him, and he, uh, said, yeah, we can summon, uh, Basque Legion, but, uh, we need some, uh, stuff to make its favorite food, and he said he basically had the favorite food ingredients, but it needs to be, um, hit with the move Dark Pulse by a Dust Skull, which he said he wasn't going to do, he was not a fan of, we had to go catch ourselves Dust Skull. Over here on, uh, or over here, I guess, in Deadwood Haunt. Um, so we caught our dust call, and we're ready to go back to him. And I said, I'm going to do a little bit of leveling, a little bit of grinding offline, which I did. So that was basically to do with the Pokedex entry for Kalava, which I have finished. So Kalava is finally ready. Oh, let's go up to Kalava's entry. Number Evolved and Number Caught are the only ones I have remaining. Same with Cyndaquil's. I guess Cyndaquil's one Evolved uh, went. So now I just need to Evolve Koalava. And like I said, I don't know if there will be more Cyndaquil's to catch or if that's just the way the game goes. And if you want more Cyndaquil's, you would have to import them in from another game. But at the same time, as you can see in the bottom right there, I'm also ready to receive my fifth star from grinding online. She doesn't care if I open the Pokedex or not, so we're going to get our fifth star here. As soon as you bring yourself a star, let's friggin' fail. Let's go, baby. Power ships, five star. Can now use wing balls. I'm guessing that's uh. Upgrade from the Feather, isn't it Feather Ball or something? Uh, Pokemon up to level 65 will obey us reliably, and rewards we earn from survey reports will be more generous. Which gives us crafting recipe. One Apricorn, one Pumblestone, one Iron Chunk. I'm guessing we just go to the craft menu real quick. Yeah. Improvement on the feather ball. There we go. That was my guess, and turns out my guess was correct. So let's go ahead and get you some. Okay. I don't even read these. <laughs> Not yet, anyways. If you go and do these requests, that's when you read them. They're just accepting. Just accepting requests. Make sure we do it. Oshawott is still chilling. And so is, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what's his face? Rowlet. Yeah, I knew that. I totally knew that. Don't, don't judge me. I knew his name. Rowlet. And then, is, is this guy was the one that uh, I was talking about, the Wimple? 
I don't believe it. Professor Lavington seems to think that little Bo Jean here is a cascoon. But her hello, it's clearly a silkoon. No, it's pretty uh it's pretty pink. Silkoon's more white like silk. Uh you're making some kind of Pokedex or something right, together with the professor, right? Then you gotta help me. Please go catch wild silkoon so I can prove it's the same species as Bo Jean here. I think I have a silkoon. Somewheres. Right there. Just as I thought, exactly the same. The eyes, though. Oh, yeah, the eyes are too. They're different colors. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess they're not exactly two peas in a pod. Just never would have thought two Pokemon this similar could actually be different species. Pokemon really are curious creatures, huh? Kesku. Eugene, my buddy, I didn't know the first thing about you, did I? Sorry if I hurt your feelings. I'm sure you're still happy to have a goof like me for. You sure you're still happy to have a goof like me for a partner? Looks like it's excited. Bojin, you lovable rascal. You really are the only partner for me. This dynamic duo will stay together forever. Fair enough. I love my buddy no matter what it looks like, but its nickname needs changing, I guess. To rename one of your Pokemon, you just need to choose it from your party, right? Yep, I learned that the long way. Easy way. Alright, well, that being done, let's get ourselves a friggin' Typhlosion. Then we'll have one member of the team for sure locked in. Let's go. What am I looking at? What did they do to my Typhlosion? No. This... What did they do? What is going on? Typhlosion, speak to me. What's wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. This is not okay. Where's my Typhlosion? It's a huge flame out its back. Pokedex, what do you got for me? Fire and Ghost type. Fire and Ghost type. Fire and ghost type. Hold on just a second here, you imposter. Well, there you have it. They gave Typhlosion a new Hisuian form as its final evolution. Same with Oshawott's final form and same with Rowlet's final form. Everyone got a little bit of a change up. So, this was unexpected. I mean, I still love Pyro, but could have fucking warned me. I guess that's what I get for doing zero research. Uh, I guess that's part of the fun, though. Yeah, beachside camp. Uh, no, probably not the beachside camp. Probably want to go to the frickin'. Oh no, this is the lake camp. Oh, coastlands camp. I guess that's what I get for not, uh, yeah, doing any previous research. <laughs> oh, 
beforehand, just hopping into the game. That's just a cat. And there's a wisp. Let's get the wisp anyways. Like I knew some things were getting different forms, like the Growlithe, for example, but I didn't know they were changing freaking Typhlosion, changing Cyndaquil. That was just something I was not ready for. But I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Which brings me to a predicament. I have Pyro as a Fire Ghost type, and I have Casper as a Ghost Poison type. I don't know about you guys, but using two ghosts on the team? I don't think so. I don't think that's a... Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds, um, dust, like, dust, dust bops. That, um, dust bops. I guess you don't have it with you. Oh, for fox seeds. Guess I gotta go get it. So... Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Casper's going to have to go into the old... The old, uh... Whatchamacallit? Pasture. Um, Looks like we're gonna have to do some research now. Should probably finalize some sort of team that I want so I can start working on it right away. You know what I'm saying? Now that, uh, this has happened unexpectedly, I guess. It's a good wake up call for me to do something about it. Make sure I don't have any overlapping types. Alright, we're back. Oops. Yeah, I got dust box. What? Oh, this is dust skull. I need. Holy frick, dude. Looks like I am not ready for this at all. Turning your eight palm, getting the damn Pokeball. Nice. What about you, eight palm? You getting the Pokeball? No. Get in the Pokeball, you. Okay, let me just do a quick look up. I've had dust lops. Ghost type. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm not ready to do this, so I will be right back. Well, right after some successful Pokemon hunting, we got ourselves a dust clock you can see there in the bottom right corner. Luckily for me, one just spawns there, so we uh, didn't have to like level up a dust skull or nothing. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out. Right. I guess. I guess I've got to do my part. Seeing how um, determined you are to go to that island with the Basket Legion. Usually, I um, ask Paulina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit, but this time you need to help since, well, since we're making this snack so that you'll be accepted by Basket Legion. Once I give the signal, you have that dust box of yours use its dark pulse. Sounds good to me. Three, two, Wow, no, it's too frightening. Oh my god. Did you get a grip? Yeah, exactly. Right. So counting down is to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Simply have you do it when I say go. And go.
Yeah, that sure was terrifying. Delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basket Legion's favorite snack is now ready. Awesome. Ball of Basket Legion food. Favorite favorite food of Basket Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Both of the aroma and the shape are perfect. The perfect ball of Basket Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basket Legion there. Ginkgo Landing. What is that? Oh, that's a Mirko flying by Sky uh, Tumblestone. Alright. Next thing you know, we'll be able to freaking surf the waves. Jesus Christ, oh my god. It's a huge whale. Whale win. Can we just fucking not do this right now? That would be groovy. It's a Bernie. I unfortunately don't need your services, Bernie. I have a Wormadam of the pink color already. So you can just get. And probably stealth raw. Yeah. Defeated you. Excellent. I just wanted to see what was under this fucking rock. It's a graveler. Holy Christ. Bulldoze the Graveler. Or maybe should have used a strong move. Now we got it. And now we can go. Yes. Let's get out of here while we can. Give me those stones. And let's get out of here. This skin. Oh, hello, Kirby. I was just waiting for you. I would do the stutters, but I'm tired of stuttering. Hello, this skin. Oh, it's Paulina. Oh, Paulina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Kirby can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe Pups were eager to meet with the Great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. I'm not supposed to be seen together just because they're from opposite clans. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Oh my gosh, surprise on that face. That is one Basque Legion, alright. Go on, Kirby, you can give the food to Basque Legion now. Are they different? Oh, 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 good heavens! Uh, Rescue legions are different, yeah. Bas oh, Basque legion. Yeah. There's a few different basculins, and it didn't have an evolved form before. I see. There's a few different versions of basculin, and then yeah, basculegion is an entirely new Pokemon. The great basculegion.
Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about where the best religion would accept this favor. So, uh, Kirby, you should let Best Legion hear your playing. It's gonna sound the exact same as your playing, but alright. Perfect. Best Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Me. You received the splash plate from Basque Legion. Those imbued with the essence of water, used on certain Pokemon, gain the power of the water type. Certain Pokemon is Arceus. 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 Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Firestrid Island. Go wow. And congratulations to you, Kirby. Roar. Roar. Polina, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin and Bastion Legion saved my life as well. Uh oh. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with this gen where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it is all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskin. Uh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time after all. Hee hee ho ho. Oh god. Bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the Elvis, and I'll be. Oh my god. I don't even want to read these again. These guys like fucking Team Rocket need to introduce themselves every time. Get ready to hand over that Growlithe. Oh, you don't think so. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. But yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Oh, God. It's a Gengar. Bro, wow. Eh, they took the wrong flower. Lols. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. We three can't live the kind of lives you want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clown and the Pearl Clown. If we want to live freely in the great land of Asui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong, we'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. How do these guys cross the water? Gengar? Must be. What? No. Growl it. Get the mom motherfucking growl it. What should we do, Kirby? This is an emergency. We're right. We're right. The black. Uh, you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Kirby, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt coastlands that seems suitable is Firestead Island. Oh, now that you have Basque Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach the island too. Please, could you find it and need to help Paulina? Well, I don't know. I guess I... Of course I do. Oh, well, I don't know, but I guess I have nothing better to do and I won't advance the game if I don't, so yeah, I guess I would do it. Well, thank you, thank you. You are so kind. We will make our way to Firespit Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait here and help keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though, I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with the lightning and bandits and... No, come Kirby, no time to think, we must go now. You should also know Basque Legion can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. 
throw items from Bastion Region back here. In your case, I guess I've been throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm still a little scared. You think you could head over there first? Yeah, of course, you big baby. Press the plus button or the A button when you're in the water to summon Basque Legion across the water on his back. While riding Basque Legion, you'll be able to throw items. What's more, when Basque Legion jumps into the air, you'll have more time to adjust your aim before you're thrown. Frick. Guess I should heal up. Feel the highlight of last video, two videos ago. Feel, where did you go? No! <laughs> it's feel. It's freaking disappeared. Yeah, I should fast travel to a camp, and that's not what I wanted to do. Should go heal up at a camp. I just have a chunk there. And then we'll go riding the waves to Fire Spit Island. We'll just rest for a little bit. Just a little while. Miss my little head, and then for the next video, I will have to put together a team. Actually, I doubt I'll be able to do it when I'm over there. You know what? Let's go gather these requests and then we will call it a day. How about? Because I only got about four minutes left in my, in my schedule recording time. So. Why go and try start something new? Like this one's probably up and the other one's probably down, isn't it? Where's the path to get at? It's further down the way? Must be. Yeah, it's right here. This request has got to be down here, right? Sure is. What's up, my guy? Hey, you there, Survey Corps kid. I need your help catching them Pokemon. The Construction Corps is busier than ever these days, making homes for all the new people in the village. We just don't have enough labor to handle everything, so we figured why not try and see if Pokemon could help us out. Searched around a while for a reliable Pokemon that wouldn't need much training, I was lucky enough to find an incredibly robust Pokemon called Machoke. I'd love to get Machoke to join us myself, but I don't have the faintest idea how to go about catching such a strong looking Pokemon. First thing to do, then, is to learn more about Machoke, show me its completed Pokedex entry. Okay, but I'm gonna have to catch that Machoke and that Alpha Machoke later. Can't unfortunately help you just yet. Pit stop with this Geo dude. Bulldoze this Geo dude. Don't get in the way of the bulldoze. Yo, I saw the craziest thing in uh, the Obsidian Field Lands earlier today, guys. There was freaking Alpha Geody just on the Deer Track Heights Mountain, just down the mountain in the middle of Obsidian Field Lands. Just an Alpha Geody, and then I googled it, and it's like, yeah, technically any Pokemon can spawn as an Alpha, but. You know, it's low chance, low rate. Like, you have the designated, like, spaces for alpha Pokemon that will continually spawn there. Like, even if you catch it, then it'll just spawn back again next time you go there or whatever. Sometimes, like, the, just the regular Pokemon spawn as alphas too. So that was kind of cool. 
Would you the survey corps member who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of APOM stole my pack full of goods. Those couple of APOM? They've been darting around leading me on a chase, almost like they teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those APOM? Alright guys, well that'll do it for today. So next time, yeah, I'll have sort of an idea of what kind of team I want to throw together. And, um, kind of team I want to throw together and have either the Pokemon I want in it or the beginnings of it. And then we'll head to Fire Spit Island. So, I'd like to thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, do any and all those things if you enjoyed the video today. And as we say up here in Canada, peace out.